Today, we are going to talk about our second story, Clearing in the Sky. This is by a famous author, Jess Hilton Stort, and he was born in 1906 and he died in 1984. As I've told you, he's an American author. He is famous for his short stories, poems, and novels. He wrote when he was in school, and as he uh, progressed in time and age, he decided to become a school teacher. But his main interest was writing, and he kept on writing. He faced a lot of hardships in his life, and all those, they are reflected in his short stories and poems and novels. While he was writing, he talked about the social values, the hardships one's, one faces in, um, faces in life. He talked about those and he became very popular. This poet, he wrote more than 60 books and he is praised for the insightful nature of his work simplicity of his style and tone. He writes narratives and some of them, the most famous ones, they are personal narratives. And his contributions are more than literary. He was an educationist, he was a social reformer. Through his writing, he talked about the social values and persuaded people to believe in hard work and the true American spirit of progress. In his stories, we find great values for and respect for truthfulness, for love to the country and love to earth. We are going to look at the summary of the story now. Just remember that when we are talking about the summary, it is the short or precise outline of the story that we are reading. The summary of the clearing of in the sky is very simple. It is basically a short personal narrative in which the father is taking his son to a secret place. They are sharing their childhood memories and the father tells the son that the doctors, they told him many times to stop working because of the delicate condition of his heart. But the father, he is adventurous and he is an American, a true American. And he does not give up. He takes his son to the place where he has secretly cultivated about three-fourths of an acre of a land. And when they reach that place, the son is amazed by the steep path their father has taken. And when he reaches that place, he is amazed and surprised and very pleasantly shocked to see that cultivated piece of land. And the father tells him that this hard work of climbing to this place, cultivating this place has kept him alive and healthy. The doctors told him many a times to rest and to stop working. But he had an iron will and because of that willpower, he was able to reach that place, to cultivate that place and to grow crops which taste much better than the crops grown on the farm which is a bit down. While on the way, they look at different trees, different exotic trees, squirrels, certain wild animals. They are all part of the nature which is pre present in this particular setting or in this place where they are living. And while they are moving towards the farm, they are talking about the childhood. The father says that he was 22 and the, the child's mother, she was 19. When they came to that place and they decided to make it their home. They made farms, they grew trees, 
the trees, they are more than 60 feet tall now. And they find certain trees growing over there which do not actually belong to that area. In the same way, the author, he is thinking about the adventures he had as a child. He talks about a little wooden plow which he used, to, used for playing in this place, but it was lost in the mud one day. The father, while talking to him and while taking him to this farm, is actually giving a lesson to the child. He is telling his son that one must trust one's own will, one's own strengths. We must not go on the words of others. If someone tells you, even if a medical practitioner is telling you that you must rest, you have to look at your own condition and you must learn not to give up. The father is basically son of the soil and he connects himself to the soil and according to the father, he says that this connection has kept him healthy and alive and he has been able to overcome his physical weakness, his emotional turmoils. He is actually telling his son to continue his connection with the soil for a better and healthy life. We are going to talk about the themes in the story. Themes are basically the underlying idea which runs throughout the context and the text of the story. As this is an American story written in an American rural setting, we see the reflection of values of that particular culture in it. The values that are reflected in this story, they are universal or they are classic because they are true for all the times to come. The themes and the values which are portrayed in this story are of manual labor, hard work, self-reliance, relationship of parents and children, particularly a father and son relationship, the relationship of a human being to the soil and to the land that he is cultivating, a person's love for nature, his struggle with the nature and his struggle against the nature. The author also tackles the themes of unyielding force and vigor in old age and respect for hard work even in old age. In the story, we also find the theme of farming, that how it connects the people to the earth, how it gives them strength, independence, courage, industry, honesty and love of freedom. Now when we are look, looking at the present state of United States, we see that people are bereft of all these values and they are nostalgic about the good old days while there are many people who consider these values as old fashioned and outdate, outdated and unrealistic. But as I've said, these values, they are classics and they hold true for all the times to come. So we cannot do away with the themes which are pointed out in the story. The author is also looking at the difference of attitude of different generations. In the story, there is not a very clear generation gap between the son and the father, but they do have different points of view. The character of the father, it shows a certain courage and a certain uh, spirit for adventure. And he is able to face the life in a very bold way. 
and he is teaching the same to his son. The most prominent theme in this story is of strong will, firmness and all these things they are going to help us to achieve a person his goals.